At 11 months of age, Brie, a female Labradoodle, was struck by a car in front of her house. She suffered severe internal injuries, including the loss of a kidney, and her back left leg was so damaged it had to be amputated. Throughout her recovery and for the rest of life as a tripod, she exuded intense joy, and she lived a rich and full life for 13 years. She died of an old dog's disease, a tumor on her spleen. For the first seven years of her life, she was well known as a hiker on mountain trails in the Pacific Northwest. She loved high meadows and the feel of heather on her feet. She could hike 10 to 12 miles without a problem and was an inspiration on the 42 switchbacks up the 4,000 vertical feet to the summit of Mount Dickerman. During the early season, when snow was still on the trails, she would slide down the slope on her backside, sometimes rolling in the snow at the bottom of her slide. While she loved the summer snow, winter snowshoeing was never her favorite. After hikes, we'd stop at Sprinkles and Langley for ice cream. Bree lived on Whidbey Island, Washington, and to the very end of her life was excited, even demanded, to retrieve sticks in Puget Sound. In the water, she used her tail as a rudder, and when running on shore, she learned to place her three feet in a straight line to keep her balance. Three paw prints in the sand meant Bree had been to the beach. Like her lab ancestors, she would eat anything and spent many hours investigating promising scents along the shore. In midlife, Arthritis set in and she was forced to retire from mountain hiking. Like many retirees, she traveled in a camper in the process visiting every state west of I-25, the freeway that bisects Denver. While she enjoyed the desert, she never lost her passion for mountain streams. Bree's courageous and inspiring life has been documented in the book, An Old Man and a Three-Legged Dog, available from Amazon. Her story is a joy to anyone who has shared love with a dog, tripod or not.